All right, so we're testing out our uh, theory here to see if whether our check valve is bad. But right now, uh, this is our smaller chiller. And I'm gonna shut it off and see if it starts coming up through the suction pipe. Here. check valve so it's possible this could be not holding and when the tower does shut down we're back feeding through and going back out the suction to the low point so we're stopped all right so nothing overflowing just yet we are coming out our drain and you can see the basement is getting pretty full. All right, we're uh, starting to overflow. Let's just see if I can feel that. You're not going to feel it there. All right, so we're going to shut off that valve. Let's see if that helps. Okay, so it seems to be slowing down. Uh, we'll see if it comes to a stop and then I'll open that valve again. All right, we're still pouring out the overflow, but it's not getting any higher here. So I'm gonna go open up that valve and we'll see if this rises back up. All right, so that didn't seem to do anything. Um, what I did is I just lowered the float level um, about an inch, inch and a half or so, and we'll see if that doesn't uh, keep the level at least high enough so that it doesn't drain the sump, but uh, not too high that it's overflowing. All right, so we're restarting the chiller. And you can see we still got some water coming out the drain. It We'll let it run a few minutes and we'll cycle it back off. We'll see if we get the same results or better. All right, you can see the pump's kicked on. Our sump is starting to drop down. All right, looks like it's leveling out there. Uh, we didn't have a tape. So we'll let this run for a little bit and then we'll uh, do the same cycle. Back in our setting we had before, so probably safe to say the check valve is okay. All right, we're still dumping a bunch of water in here. So once this gets leveled out and finds its uh, happy level here, um, then we can shut it off. All right, we're out of that soft load. Alright, so our fans were kicked on, they're cycling back off. And you can see the level rises as the fan slows down. So it should be at the, the level point here soon. Alright, we're pretty much stopped uh, adding water here, so I think we're gonna cycle it off and see what happens. 
So we've been running a good 30 minutes here. And my uh, co-worker just went to shut the chiller off. Let's see what happens here. just kicked off. Our pumps should be off by now. Yes, pump is off. The water is definitely on the rise here. We're up to our just to our overflow right now. Let's see if we spill over. We are right there on that lip. It's not done draining yet, but we are draining out there, so it definitely needs a full sump, but our uh, makeup is shut off for sure, so adjusting that float has helped some. All right, I think we got it. It's definitely receding um, without putting any more water in, and we're dripping less. I mean, we got it right at the, the cusp there, so we'll save a little bit of water when these things shut down. And, uh, so we'll do one more start up here, watch the sump, make sure it don't cavitate. The other thing I was trying to address was that knocking noise, and I was trying to adjust uh, certain frequencies to skip over, and that didn't really do anything, so pretty much all I did was adjust the uh, ramp up time. Uh, it was defaulted at 30 seconds. I ramped it up to 60 seconds and tried it with more of a, an S curve. Uh, that didn't really seem to help. So I just left it linear. So I think by doing that, it, it kind of helped with the noise. Uh, I don't think it's anything fatal. It's just, I guess just gonna be a characteristic of this gearbox and it being on the drive. All right, we've restarted. Let's see our sump level is dropping down again. Well, it's staying online, not cavitating. We are still capacity controlled. Okay, here's what I was talking about. I don't know if you can see this or not, but under uh, menu 25, so it exit back out, critical speeds. And this is where you would select on 2501 if you wanted to select it on or off. So if you select on, then you can go down to our low speed, oops, 130 hertz, and then our high would be 50. So you would kind of cut out that 30 to 50 range, but that didn't seem to do anything. So take, I took it back off save that but you can go through and set it up different uh, frequency ranges low and high if you want to skip over those all right and then on that acceleration time that was 2201 I don't have it selected and I just left it as uh, 60 seconds to accelerate and decelerate so if you turn it on uh, 
that, then you would be able to go in there and adjust different times. So but if you leave it off, it just goes default back to what you have it set on. And then this is what I meant by the linear shape. So basically you're ramping up like that or you're going to ramp up like an S. So if you do take it off that, so you could change the shape of that loading up. So just say, I think they say to use uh, one fifth of the time that you have for the ramp up. So 60 seconds, you'd be looking at uh, 12 seconds. We're gonna leave that off. It was off uh, when I got here and it was set for 30 seconds. All I did was increase that ramp up time to 60 seconds. All right, looks like we're doing pretty good. So we're gonna put the uh, screen back up here and uh, call it a day for this one. So appreciate you guys watching and uh, catch you in the next video. So that's the extent of the noise now. So we went from 30 seconds to a 60 second ramp up.